Coming up this week on LCW's Legends of Wrestling, Dynamite Dylan Davis goes one-on-one -on -one against Tristan Slater. Then hot tag team action when Stormfront takes on Matt Burns and UFC Hall of Famer Dan the Beast Severin. Welcome everybody to this edition of LCW's Legends of Wrestling here on NTV. I'm the voice of LCW, Commissioner Mike Barrington, along with my broadcast colleagues, John Bennett and George Scott. Great to be back for another week, Mike. We've got another terrific episode here on LCW. Big match just coming up. And uh, Johnny Biz, another great week in it. That's right. And earlier today, I went backstage and got some comments from that little punk Tristan Slater. Let's go to the footage. Fans, backstage right now, I'm being joined by the biggest laughing stock on the Legend City Wrestling roster, Tristan Slater. And Slater, this afternoon, you have a match against Dynamite Dylan Davis, the hottest commodity in Legend City Wrestling history right now. And what I want to know is, what do you plan on bringing to the table to try and shut him down? Well, first and foremost, you call me a laughing stock. The only thing I'm laughing at is that stupid little beard on your face. Dylan Davis, tonight you go one-on-one -on -one with the diamond in the rough in Legend City Wrestling, Tristan Slater. I am the man with all the flair, and the beautiful pink hair. Whoa, 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 whoa. I've heard just about enough from you, pal. Get my way. You see, I made a career out of taking punks like you out. Easy, one, two, three. Last show, you seen Nasty the Saint get his head kicked in by me. And tonight, as sure as my fanny pack is black, same fate comes for you, pal. One, two, three. Yeah, we'll see. About that. Yeah, we will. And there you go, Mike. A promise of nothing short of total domination over this little punk Tristan Slater by Dynamite Dylan Davis, whom I have it on great authority. His tag team partner, Hotshot Danny Duggan, will be returning for our tour at the end of April, beginning of May in Western Newfoundland and in Labrador. So we're gonna see Team Jack and Fanny Pack reunited is what you're telling me. That is 100% what I've heard through the grapevine. Well, the fans on the West Coast and in Labrador are certainly going to have a treat there as Dynamite Dylan Davis and Hot Shot Danny Duggan back in the ring together. But tonight, we've got Dynamite Dylan Davis versus Tristan Slater. Singles action. Davis was already in the ring waiting for the arrival of Slater. Slater playing up to the crowd a little bit. And Mike Barrington, you want to know what the best part about a Tristan Slater match is? Uh, no, tell me. Watching him get beat. <laughs> Well, John, be that as it may, this match is brought to you by Rockstar Energy Drink, the official energy drink of Legend City Wrestling. All right, all set to get underway. Singles match, Davis against Slater. They'll hook up in the center of the ring. The strength shown by Slater as he backed Davis into the corner, but Davis pushing his way back, and so far they're just maneuvering each other around the ring. Whip into the ropes and a shoulder by Davis takes down Slater. Slater quickly back up, hip toss, and Davis goes down. Slater picks up Davis and slams him. And Johnny, uh, so far, Slater doing well against your man Davis. Dynamite Dylan Davis is just trying to settle in. He's gonna lull this retro freak into some type of false sense of security, and then, boom, dynamite explodes, and Tristan Slater is gonna go one, two, three, bye-bye, baby. So far, Slater equating himself well in the ring. And he's certainly got the crowd support in this match, something that, John, you and I go back and forth about all the time. Well, for once, you know something? I don't understand why Tristan Slater actually has the fan support. What has he done to earn it? I mean, aside from looking like Jam on a Saturday morning cartoon and, and, and wearing Owen Hart's trunks, I have no idea what this boy does to actually get support from the fans. He's not talented. He looks horrible. Tried to roll Davis out of the ring. Davis hung on to the apron. 
gets back in and so far Slater looking very pleased with what he's been able to do in this uh, match so far. Davis with very little offense. And there we go. Here comes Dynamite Dylan Davis now. Enough of playing around. This isn't Saturday morning cartoons. You're not going to see any Care Bears here. Tristan Slater, you're about to get taken to the woodshed. And here we go now. Dynamite Dylan Davis setting him. Oh my God! Oh, and Tristan Slater has Slater's got to be down. dead. Davis going for the pin. One, two, only a two count. Davis claiming it was three. He's got his leg across the neck of Slater and talking to the referee saying it was three. It wasn't. He wasn't claiming it was three. It was a slow count by Chris Walsh. Once again, biased and ineffective officiating stops younger talent from actually picking up the win over an undeserving, undeserving opponent like Tristan Slater. Davis continuing his onslaught on Slater. He's got him up against the ropes. Five counters on. Referee makes him break it. Davis with a right hand. Slater counters. Well, folks, don't forget to check us out at facebook.com slash legendcitywrestling or legendcitywrestling.com for all of our upcoming West Coast and Labrador tour information. It's going to be a burn burner. And folks, we're going to commercial. Don't go anywhere. Wrestling fans, LCW is coming to a town near you. Tuesday, April 30th at the Palace in Cornerbrook. Wednesday, May 1st at the Polar Center in St. Anthony. Friday, May 3rd at the Labrador City Arena. Saturday, May 4th at the E.J. Broomfield Arena in Happy Valley Goose Bay. For more information, visit our website, legendcitywrestling.com or call us toll free 1-855-LEGEND-4. 18, 19, 20, 21. How you doing, Wheeler? Come on, buddy. Keep going. Go, go. Whatever's that? One. Seriously? Yeah. Really? Give, give me a second. Oh, man. Welcome back to LCW's Legends of Wrestling here on NTV. And folks, before the break, I mentioned you could check out our website at legendcitywrestling.com to get more information about our tour coming up of the west coast of Newfoundland and Labrador. This is a first for us folks to hit Happy Valley Goose Bay and Labrador City along with Cornerbrook and St. Anthony. In the ring right now, Slater's in a lot of trouble as Davis has got a scissor headlock put on Slater. Now he follows up with some elbows to the face. You know what? George, I've really got to agree here. Slater is in a world of trouble, but nowhere near as much as his tag team partner later on this afternoon in our main event. That puke, Matt Burns, and that old man, that senior citizen, the mustache, Dan the Beast Severn, stuck their nose in Stormfront's business last week, and now they're going to get taken to the woodshed as well. What I like about you, Johnny Biz, no biased reporting at all, calling it right down the middle. Hey, I only call it like I see it. I know exactly what's going on here, and Stormfront, I can guarantee, are going to walk out with the victory. But, John, I must ask you a question. Do you really think that Stormfront is going to come out on top against a UFC Hall of Famer in Dan the Beast Severin? UFC Hall of Famer, in my mind, equates dinosaur. There's absolutely nothing that this old man is going to be able to do to the young, hungry, and very talented team of Stormfront. I can guarantee it. Well, it remains to be seen, and folks, stay tuned for that in our main event. Let's get back to the ring where Slater just took down Davis. And now Slater's going for the pin. One, two, almost an up upset as Slater had Davis down for a two count. And now it's Slater who's upset, thinking he should have had three on Davis that time. And Dave, Dylan Davis is such a tough opponent. He's so resilient. There's absolutely no way a clothesline from Jim is going to take him down. 
And as you can see now, he's going in to a series of suplexes and really wearing down Tristan Slater. And eventually you're gonna see Tristan Slater being taken out with the rest of the trash at the end of the night. Well, right now, it's all Dylan Davis. He, you may be right, Johnny Business. He's taking control of this match completely against Tristan Slater. A boot to the head and for good measure. Now, it's, uh, Davis is gonna go off top. He's got Slater down in the ring, but Slater gets up and blocks that. Comes back with some right hands to the side of the head on Davis. Looked like Slater was down and out. Somehow managed to get back up in time to stop Davis from coming off that top rope. Well, this is interesting. Are we gonna see a superplex here? Lining up for it. There it goes. Oh, that takes the good out of both competitors, that's for sure. Both men are down. But the question I now have to ask both of you is how much does Tristan Slater have left in the tank? It's been mostly Dylan Davis for the majority of the past couple of minutes administering a beating on Tristan Slater. And I got to think that that's going to play a factor well, what's, in here. What's Davis doing here? He's got over, he's grabbed that fanny pack from the corner. It's Slater this, ducked under oh, it, but he now he's hit. Punched him Slater in the face with, with that. it. Covering up one, two, three. <laughs> There's the match. Well, the question is, what was in that fanny pack that could have knocked out Christian Slater? I don't know. I'm not about to ask. Referee Chris Walsh didn't see it. He can't call it. Well, let's take a look. Oh, there it is. is he's that, got a chain. It's that steel chain again. Folks, we got to take a commercial break. Don't go anywhere. Hi, I'm Max Power. But of course, you already knew that, didn't you? What I do here with Legend City Wrestling takes a lot of hard work, dedication, and a lot of charming good looks as well. But please, don't try this at home. And we are back here on LCW's Legends of Wrestling right here on NTV. And we are ready for this afternoon's main event, which features the premier tag team in Legend City Wrestling, Stormfront. And these guys have been running roughshod over anybody that is foolish enough to get in the ring with them. Most recently, Matt Burns, and unfortunately for the senior citizen, Dan the Beast Severn, this week, he's gonna get his hips broken by Stormfront. Well, I gotta stop you right there, John, because that senior citizen you're talking about, he's a UFC Hall of Famer. He's a former WWE superstar. Dan the Beast Severn tags with Matt Burns. But right now, let's take you back to what happened last week. Four weeks ago, and it looks like they're gonna teach Matt Burns oh, another lesson. No. I, this is supposed to be Matt Burns. Ah. I'm not gonna tolerate anyone jumping in and attacking someone from behind like this Man. against two. See him, ladies and gentlemen, the man, Dan the Beast Severin, tagging up with LCW's Matt Burns, going up against Stormfront here tonight. This is the match we've been waiting for since last week when Stormfront got in the ring and interfered with Matt Burns in his match. Let's listen to what Matt Burns and Dan Severin have to say about that. Stormfront, last week after my match against Sexton Phoenix, you came to the ring and beat me down for no reason, just because you don't like me. Well, this week, at ends. No one's getting beat up today except you guys. My tag team partner is Dan the Beast Severin. Matt, you had a fantastic match going there against Sex, Sex and Phoenix. It was yours in hand. Then you have Stormfront. Stormfront that just charges in there and just attacks you for no apparent reason right, whatsoever. I'm not going to stand by and letting this type of bullying take place. That will end tonight. You and I, I look forward to joining forces with you and unite in a tag team and take the storm right back to him. Matt Burns. Matt Burns and Dan the Beast Severin. They're serious about this match. Taking on Stormfront. We have a discussion over who's gonna go first here. We shake hands. It looks like it's gonna be Dan the Beast Severin gonna start things off. And folks, this match is brought to you by Central Auto Glass, their proud supporter of LCW. Tommy Manson in to start things off for Stormfront against Dan the Beast Severin. They'll lock up in the center of the ring. Look at the strength of Dan the Beast Severin as he backs Manson up into the corner. He's 
got Manson pinned there in a five count. Severin clean break backs off. You know, that was pretty impressive. Uh, Tommy Manson is not a small man by any means, and Dan B. Severin just got him back in that corner like he was a child. Two wrestlers getting ready to lock up again in the center of the ring. Seven down to one knee this time. But again, look at the strength on Severin. Once again, he backs Manson up into the corner. He's going to be able to hold him there. Manson can't get out. Again, five count, clean break by Severin. I'm going to say I did that to you twice. Two times I took you to the corner, he says to Manson. Manson, not quite sure what to make of this. A big man himself, not used to being manhandled like this. Biz, you're pretty speechless over here. What do you think? I'm just sitting back and watching what's going to happen here. As you can see now, Tommy Manson starting to make some headway against the old man. Nope. Oh, you see Severin we had him back into the corner, but Manson reversed it. Now he's got Severin, and let's see if he can get a clean break from Manson. Oh, a little sportsmanship there, says good work. Oh, oh slap to the face. No clean break from Manson. I love it. He's showing Dan the B7 that this is his ring. Severin's waiting for him, though. Hip toss. And a series of hip tosses. Sorry, Johnny Biz. What is that? The referee should have been in on that. Dan the B7 attacked Tommy Manson while his back was turned. Uh, Tommy Manson slapped Dan the B7 in the face, and I think that takes a lot of brass to do something like that. I think he's going to pay for it at the end of the day, as Dan the Beast just takes some time to tie his boot. Well, right now, Stormfront is on the outside of the ring, formulating a game plan. Are, are, they, are they scared, John? Are they on the outside of the ring because they don't know how to take Dan the B7? No, they're, they're, it's a strategy session. When you work in a tag team, you need to work as a cohesive unit. And if your initial game plan doesn't really work, sometimes you've got to go to plan B. And that's what they're discussing right now, a plan B. Plan B to power away, perhaps? Well, Manson's back in the ring. Let's see what plan B is going to bring. He's calling Severin forward. They'll lock up again in the center. Severin gets behind Manson. Manson reverses it. Nice standing switch there by Tommy Manson, showing that he is not a slouch when it comes to wrestling. And again, a reversal. Severin now in behind. Side headlock, grinding it into Manson. Switches it to an armbar. Severin really having his way with Manson so far in this match. We're really seeing the experience of Dan the Beast Severin in this matchup. Again, the standing side headlock, and Ken goes through the armbar, lets that go, and over goes Manson. But he's still got that arm. Got the armbar locked in pretty good there right now. Could be a submission. Referee asking Manson if he wants to give up. And Tommy Manson really either has to get the tag to Darren Storm or get to the ropes. Well, Manson's got his foot on the rope so far the referee hasn't seen it. As he's being distracted by Matt Burns. And this is what I'm talking about. Matt Wheeler, Matt Burns. It's no shock that none of the true talent in this company can get ahead with idiots like that in the striped shirt. Well, finally, the referee did see that Manson had his foot on the rope and make Severn break the hole. Well, the only reason he got that foot on the rope was because of his tag team partner, Darren Storm, when referee Matt Wheeler wasn't looking, and Dan B. Severn not looking too impressed at this time. Storm is tagged in. Now we've got Darren Storm in against Severn. So far, Matt Burns hasn't been in the ring, but Storm is in there now against Severn. He doesn't look too anxious to get involved with Dan the Beast. Darren Storm definitely has a game plan going in against this beast of a man. Yeah, it looks so like far he's got his a game, game plan. plan is to back up into the corner. Big size difference between these two. He's going to try and figure out how to overcome that size difference. And I guess one way is to get out of the ring. So far, that seems to be the strategy. Just avoid Severn at all costs. Yeah, now we're into plan C, John Biz, which is cower away. Cower away? This is a little thing that I like to call elusive and abusive. He's in the elusive stage right now, just trying to get to the back of Dan the Beast Severn. And when he does, bam, 
that's when the shot is going to come out of nowhere and this old man is going to be put out to pasture. Well, he might be elusive right now, but he's going to become extinct if he's not careful. Well, Severn brings uh, Storm into the ring, over the top, pulls him in. Storm didn't want to get involved, but didn't have much choice there. Now he's tied up with Severn. Big shoulder block, and down goes Darren Storm. Storm again trying to crawl his way out of the ring, but Severn cut him off. Once again, we see the experience and the technical ability of Dan Severin. Another big shoulder block. And again, down goes Storm. Over the top. Storm so far putting up no resistance against Dan Severin whatsoever. And here we see him trying to get out, and he's talking about hanging on for dear life. What is Darren Storm doing? Well, this is Plan H. Hang on to the ropes. Folks, we're getting ready to take a commercial break. Hopefully by the time we get back, Dan Severin will have Darren Storm peeled off that rope. Don't go anywhere. Wrestling fans, LCW is coming to a town near you. Tuesday, April 30th at the Palace in Cornerbrook. Wednesday, May 1st at the Polar Center in St. Anthony. Friday, May 3rd at the Labrador City Arena. Saturday, May 4th at the E.J. Broomfield Arena in Happy Valley Goose Bay. For more information, visit our website, legendcitywrestling.com or call us toll free 1-855-LEGEND-4. Folks, we've got Darren Storm and Matt Burns in the middle of the ring. And a big uppercut there. Both men are down on the mat. George? Yeah, Burns has uh, made his first appearance in this match, and a big impact move on Darren Storm, but seems to have taken as much out of Burns as it did out of Storm. Both men are down. See Severn encouraging his man, Matt Burns, to get back to his feet. But Darren Storm really needs to get to the powerhouse, Tommy Manson, to make a tag so he can run roughshod over that little puke Matt Burns and put this to bed early. Burns crawling to his corner as his storm. There's the tag, Severn's in, Manson's in, get the two big guys back in again. And down goes Manson. And down he goes again. Severn, like he did earlier in this match, having his way with Manson, picks him up, throws him down, and here you see Severn showing off to the crowd. Goes for the count, one, two. And storm Darren comes storm, in to break it up. Darren Storm breaks up the count saving the match for his team. And now Severn looking at Darren Storm, Storm again pleading, pleading for Severn not to have a go at him. As we saw earlier, as Severn was manhandling Darren Storm earlier in this match. Manson from behind with a forearm to the back of Severn. And for the first time in this match, we've seen Severn go down. Now Burns is in the ring. Guys, who is the legal man right now? Roll up. Tough to tell, outside the ring, we've got Severn and Manson going at it. Inside, it's Burns and Storm. Oh, and a low blow there by Tommy Manson to Dan the Beast Severin. And there we go, Tommy Manson taking the advantage over the old man here now, and I want to see what he's going to do to put him down. Inside the ring, Burns wound up with a big elbow on Storm. Outside, Severn tossed in to the ring guard. It looks like we had a near fall in the ring just then. Here we go, Tommy Manson, Manson with a now. big right hand. Double team. And here it comes. Eye of the storm. And you can guarantee it's going to be a three count. Tommy Manson makes the cover. Two and three, and that's it. There's your winner, Stormfront, as Matt Burns gets pinned in the middle of the ring with Severin outside. And Stormfront once again showing us they're the dirty players in the game. They'll do anything. And as you can see, those fans are not very happy with them at this time. Folks, that's going to be it for us on Legends of Wrestling this week. Join us again next week, Saturdays, on NTV at 1.30 p.m. This is Gangrel, the Vampire Warrior, and I'm fanging and banging in LCW Legend City Wrestling. See you on NTV. <laughs>